In this video, how to integrate SATA drivers into a Windows XP installation disk. By default, Windows XP does not support HCI controller mode. When you try to install Windows XP, you will encounter the following error. If you are installing Windows on an older computer, you can try changing the SATA controller mode to IDE or compatible mode. This mode is supported by default, so you can install Windows normally without adding any drivers. However, on modern hardware, IDE mode is often not available. Only HCI or RAID modes are offered. Therefore, to install Windows XP on such systems, we need to integrate the SATA drivers. You will need the original Windows XP ISO file and the SATA drivers. You can download the necessary drivers from this forum. I suggest you try the universal SATA controller drivers first. To integrate the drivers, we will use a free tool called Enlight. Let's download and install it. Now, extract the contents of the Windows XP ISO file to a folder. Open the Enlight tool. Browse to the folder where you extracted the Windows XP files. Click Next to skip this step. In this step, select the Drivers and Bootable ISO tasks. Click the Insert button and browse to the folder containing the SATA drivers you downloaded from the WinRaid forum. As you can see, the driver has been successfully integrated. Using this tool, you can burn the modified installation files directly to a bootable CD. Alternatively, you can create an ISO image and burn it using other software or create a bootable USB drive. For example, I will use a program called AnyBurn to burn the newly created ISO file to a CD. When burning a bootable CD, it is recommended to burn at a slower speed. This will take longer, but it will help ensure the disk can be used for installation. Once completed, boot your computer from the CD and proceed with installing Windows XP. As you can see, the previous error is gone. The hard drive is now detected allowing you to proceed with the installation.
Alternatively, if you don't have a CD or DVD drive, you can create a USB bootable device to install Windows XP. First, download this USB boot drive software. Since we're creating a Windows XP installation, make sure you download the legacy version of the tool. The first step is to select your USB device from the list. Once the USB drive is selected, we need to format it as FAT32 and wipe the USB disk. Please back up any data on the USB drive before creating the USB bootable device. The next step is to select a distribution. Let's scroll down and select the single Windows XP installer. In the last step, let's select the ISO image file with drivers integrated that you created in the previous steps. Finally, click the Create button to make the USB bootable device. Click No and then plug this USB device into the computer where you want to install Windows XP and boot from it. Select Windows Installer. Select Begin Windows XP Install Stage 1. If you see this blue screen at this step, you can check the video description to fix it. Install Windows XP as usual. The computer will restart. At this moment, Press the boot menu key repeatedly to boot from the USB bootable device one more time, instead of booting from the hard drive. Now, select Continue Windows XP Install Stage 2. This stage will actually install Windows XP onto the hard disk. Once it's done, you can remove the USB bootable device from the computer. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next videos.